So I'm working on NHGIS training exercises. Uh, this is under ex statistical software package required. Excel other exercises and HGIS. I did Excel exercise one. Now I'm doing Excel exercise two. So I'm waiting for it to load and then after it loads I'll download it. Okay so I have the thing set up. Uh, so the research question uh, which cities in Minnesota saw the greatest change in the number of college-educated residents since 1990? Our objectives are find and download NHGIS time series data, analyze the data using Microsoft Excel, validate work using answer key. Okay, so I need to log in to NHGIS. So if I log out, log in, so now, uh, whoops, how do I go, I just need to go to NHGIS, okay, um, click on get data, uh, inv step two, investigate the scope of relevant data. A common first step is to look into the range of data available on the topic of interest. Click on the Topics Filter button, then select Educational Attainment, then submit the selection. How many source tables are available for this topic? 1,531. From what year is the oldest table that gives population counts by educational attainment? All the way back to 1880. With the step three, find data for the period of interest. With the topic already selected, click the years filter button. Then select 1990 and submit the selection. The select data grid now lists all the tables related to the topic of educational attainment with data from 1990. One way to proceed would be to select one of the source tables and then look for another more recent table to compare it with it. However, the categories, terms, and universes used by census tables often change over time which can make it difficult to pull together comparable data. For many topics, including this one conveniently, NHGIS provides a simpler alternative, time series tables, which link together comparable data from multiple years in one table. Click on the time series tables just to the right of the source tables tab at the top of the select data grid. Locate the following time series table and answer the questions that follow. Persons 25 years and over by educational attainment. That's seven. Click the table name to see additional information. How many time series does this table contain? I think seven. Uh, so that's what the seven means. Uh, Which three source tables are used to create this time series table? Uh, educational, wait. Well, I have four tables. Educational attainment, population 25 years and over by sex by educational attainment, educational attainment for the population 25 years and over, educational attainment for the population 25 years and over. That didn't copy. Hmm. 
might it be that with an update it increased from three to four tables Can you think of an advantage to using this table rather than the table of persons 18 years and over by educational attainment 7? Um, well, what's the question we're trying to answer? Uh, it, it would give people more time to have a uh, the education because if we said persons 18 years, uh, most people by 18 won't have a college degree. So, 25 years will... Um, 25 year olds will have more time to work on education than 18 year olds. What type of geographic integration does this table use? Nominal. Uh, wait a minute. It's kind of hard to tell. Six. So that continues. One, two, three. Okay, let me add this other one. Uh, oh, wait, the... I think it actually is three tables because these tables are the same, um, but the data set is different. So, um, so there's one, two, three, four, uh, nominal. Back in the select data grid, click on nominal in the geographic integration column. Uh, no. Um, nominal. Nominally integrated tables link geographic units across time according to their names and codes, disregarding any changes in unit boundaries. Identified geographic units match those from each census source, so the spatial definitions and total number of units may vary from one time to another. For example, a city may annex land, a tract may be split in two, a new county may be created, etc. The tables include data for a particular geographic unit only at times when the unit's name or code was in use, resulting in truncated time series for some areas. Nominal integration is useful for mapping spatial patterns at different times, in which case it is appropriate to map the geographic units in use at each time, measuring changes in areas where boundaries were stable, as they are for most states and counties between censuses, studying changes and characteristics of places and county subdivisions according to their legal definitions, including annexations, etc. Users should be cautious when interpreting changes in nominally integrated time series because a single unit code may refer to distinctly different areas at different times. We recommend that users of nominally integrated tables inspect NHGIS GIS files, which are available for most years and levels covered by time series tables, to identify any boundary changes in areas of interest. For more information, see the NHGIS time series tables documentation page. Um, so with this, the boundaries might be different. To download and view NHGIS, we're in step five now, create a data extract. To download and view NHGIS data, we first have to select a set of data to extract from the NHGIS database. Click the plus sign to the left of the table name to add it to your car data cart. Click the green continue button in your data cart in the top at the top right of the page. In the data options page, select the place geographic level. 
place by state. In the US terminology, cities, villages, and town centers are all places. Click the green continue button in your data cart. On the review and submit page, check the box to include adi additional descriptive header row best for spreadsheets. Add an extract description if you wish. NHGIS saves your extract request details so you can come back anytime to revise or resubmit a request. Adding descriptions can help you identify your older requests. Educational attainment 25 year olds place 1990. Um, click submit. Step 6. Download the data extract. From the extract history page, you will be able to download your data extract once it is finished processing, typically within a minute or two. For longer requests, you may leave this page and return once you have received the email alerting you that the extract is ready. When the extract status is complete, as listed in the status column of the extract's history table, click on the tables linked for this extract. This will download a zip file to your computer. Open the downloaded file. Depending on which browser you are using, you may see a pop-up window asking if you would like to open or save the file. If so, choose to open the file. Otherwise, you may see a link to the file at the bottom of your browser. If so, click on it to open the file. Within the zip archive, you should see a folder named NHGIS number 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 underscore CSV or number 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 is the number of this extract. Open the folder and confirm that it contains two files, a comma-separated values CSV data file, which typically has a Microsoft Excel icon, and a text.txt codebook file. So I need to unzip it. I have WinRAR. Step 7. Analyze the table in Microsoft Excel. Double-click on that NHGIS number 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 underscore ts underscore nominal place data file to open it in Excel. How many places are included in this table? So now there's a question and I need um, let's see here. Looks like 30,679 Right here it says count. Uh, why do you think some places have missing values for some years? Uh, the boundaries changed. Um, for a place or a new place was created. So there would be data for the place before it was created. In the original worksheet, find and copy all of the Minnesota records along with the second row containing descriptions. Tip, using Excel's filter tool on the state column is a quick way to isolate the Minnesota records. Let me go to the top. Uh, right. So I can format as a table. My table has headers. Um, so I'm going to filter Minnesota. Create a new worksheet in the Excel document and paste the copied records into the new sheet. Right. Um, how many place records are there for Minnesota?
917. To see all the field descriptions, select the top row and wrap text. Alignment. Aiming to compare counts of college graduates from 1990 and 2008 to 2012, it will be helpful first to highlight the columns of interest. Defining college graduates and is anyone with a bachelor's degree or higher, which columns should we highlight? Note the 2008 to 2012 data include both estimates and margin of error columns. For now, we're only interested in estimates. Okay, so let's see here. We have less than ninth grade, uh, 12th grade, no diploma, uh, high school uh, graduate GED or alternative, some college, no degree, associate's degree, bachelor's degree, graduate or professional degree. Okay, um, so it looks like we need here. Uh, these columns. 1990, the person is 25 years and over, bachelor's degree, 2000 and 2008 to 2012. Um, so, here, oh, it stopped, uh, which, AS to AU, Uh, change the font color for these columns to highlight them. I'll make it maybe blue, dark blue, okay. Create two new fields called College Grad 90 and College Grad 80 or 0812 to College Grad 90. Um, college grad 90, college grad 0812, and fill them with sums of the appropriate counts to create totals for all places. So I'm going to hide these margin of error, these other ones. So, this will be sum uh, Oh wait, um, actually, yeah, let me, um, unhide Okay, so I do want to hide this margin of error and this margin of error and that margin of error and that margin of error. But actually, I need to uh, make this blue, do all of these. So it should be AC. Because we also need to include graduate or professional degree. Um, so you're going to see equals sum that um, and that. Okay. Equals sum that and that. Okay. And now I can fill down. Uh, Flash fill.
there's a way to quickly do this. Uh, so if I go all the way down to the bottom here, you know, I, um, if I go all the way to, over here and I go all the way to the bottom and over here, uh, there, now, if I go up to there, Hoped. No, ah. Maybe because some of the columns are hidden, it's causing an issue. Okay, equals sum. Actually, wait, I have an idea. Let me uh, freeze the things at the top because I can't remember which one's which. I select this and do freeze panes, freeze top row. Now as I scroll down, okay, so this should be some that and that will be some of that. And that okay, and then if I fill up There. Okay. Um, and let, uh, um, format as table. The table has headers. That way. Okay. Oh, maybe the word wrap. Okay, um, well, how many college graduates were living in White Bear Lake in 1990? Okay, so I need to filter by the place name. Uh, White Bear Lake. Okay, 4,445. Create a new field called college, called change college grad and compute and add the change difference in college graduates between 1990 and 2000. Okay, so this will be change college grad equals that, no, that minus that. Um, but let me unfilter, um, yeah, select all, okay, now, let's, here, okay, good, it computed that for all of them. And then filter sort from largest to smallest. Let 
Which city had the largest increase? It looks like Minneapolis City. Let me just uh, hide most of these columns briefly. Hide. Any Apple City had an ink had the largest increase of four zero five five six eight. Which city had the largest increase? How much was it? We would expect that cities with great increases also had high overall population growth and vice versa. Continue working th through the next set of questions if you'd like to find out which cities had the greatest increases in the proportion of the population with bachelor's degrees. Optional, create two new fields named called total 90 and total 128812. Okay, so total 90 and total 0812. And sum the appropriate columns to get a total of all persons 25 years and over for 1990 and for 2008 to 2012. So what I'll need to do is Hmm. Unhide these. Uh, unhide. I mean, I don't need multiple area names. Let me just hide those. Um. For now, let me just focus on 1990s. So, I less than ninth grade. I I I I okay, uh. Start with 1990. Um, this will take longer. Will not be as quick and simple. Uh, hmm. Let's see here. Hide that. If it says 1990, I would probably keep it. Okay, some college, no degree. I'm okay, so now I have nineteen nineties. Uh, less than ninth grade, ninth grade to twelfth grade, no diploma. High school graduate, GED or alternative. Some college, no degree, associate's degree. Uh, I also need to hide this one. Hide bachelor's degree. Um, Nineteen ninety, graduate or professional degree. Uh, okay, so now the total 1990 population will be sum of, oh wait, I don't want the margin of error here, uh, whoops, whoops, oh, darn it, um, I want the actual
yeah, here's the actual ninth to twelfth grade no diploma. Um, I Okay, I just need to make sure it doesn't say margin of error. Also hide that. Okay, now, so total 90 equals sum of those. Let's just check that. It says person's 25 years older um, to and then, so there's the 90 population now for a total 0812. Have to repeat it again. Um, that's going to take a while. Um, Okay, so I'm going to work on getting the total 089 population, so I need to go here and hide that, uh, hide, I do want that less than ninth grade, I don't want the margin of error, I don't want 2015 to 2019. Um, I, I, I do want this 2008 to 2012 person's 25 years and older, 9th to 10th grade, no diploma. I don't want the margin of error. I, 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 I. Um, I do want this one, high school graduate GED or alternative. Uh, okay, so I'm continuing to work on this. So we have less than ninth grade, no, uh, ninth to twelfth grade, no diploma, uh, high school graduate GED or alternative. I A E A F A G um, We'll keep A J Hide some college no degree Hide A K A L hide A M hide a N hide keep A P hide the next column A Q hide A R hide A S hide A T keep A V A W uh, hide 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 K 
2008 graduate or professional degree. What am I doing? Uh, why is escape not doing anything? Uh, uh, I. Wait, what just happened? I just okay yeah so I so bachelor's degree graduate or professional degree margin of error I okay so total um, this will be the sum of all of these. Uh, let me just double check the column names. All right, so we have per 2008, less than ninth grade, 2008, no diploma, 2008 high school diploma, no some college, no degree, associate's degree, bachelor's degree, graduate or professional degree. All right, so now let's see. Here. The question is: create two new fields. What was the total population of age 25 plus in St. Paul in 2008 to 2009? So I will filter on the, let me hide these other ones. Uh, I, let me delete this extra column, I don't need that. Um, I just want the integrated uh, place name. Right here, unhide. Oh no, it's freezing. Uh, here, integrated place name. That's what I want. So hide those. So I want to filter, what's the question, St. Paul. Um, so there's multiple places called St. Paul. Um, it's probably this one they're talking about because that's the biggest one. Um, so the question is what is the... 2008 population. Uh, let me rename this total 0812. So 66. Six, six, uh, 6664. Six, six, Create two new fields. Okay, I did that. Uh, create two more new fields called percent college 90 and percent college 08. Multiply 100 times. Okay, so now I percent college 90, percent college 0812, and this will be that divided by that no that times 100 and this is that divided by that times 100 okay to calculate the percentage of uh, multiply 100 times each college grab variable divided by each total variable to calculate the percentage of the 25 plus population with college degrees which city had the highest percentage of college grad had the highest percentage of college grads in 2008 to 2012 um, see here, sort largest to smallest oh, uh, I need to deselect I need to select all here so now select large sort largest to smallest North Oak City had the highest percentage. They had, 
let, let me just hide these temporarily because I'm kind of interested in the figures, at the right? Okay. Okay, um, so which city had the highest percentage of college grads in 2008 to 2012? So this will be North Oaks City. Create a final variable called change percent college and calculate the differences between the percent college values between 1990 and 2008 to 2012. Change percent college equals 2008% minus that. Which city had the largest increase in its proportion of college graduates? Carver City. Whoops. Uh, complete. You have finished exercise two. You can check your answers on the following pages. I'll end the video and in another video I'll check my answers.